Why they don't make Canelo fight undisputed? Cut to tag Eddie Hearn. Undisputed versus undisputed. I want 50. I gain a little weight. Canelo. Yeah, Canelo. Not Eli and Kobe. Canelo. 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 Like, like, for real, let me show y'all what it is. Why y'all don't make Canelo versus Charlo? What y'all talking about? Somebody put that shit together. Little Charlo will fight anybody. Undisputed versus undisputed. That could be a big thing in boxing. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? Man, they got us good on this one. They really got us good on this one. Some of the most shocking news of the year, we find out that Canelo Alvarez is not fighting against Jamal Charlo, but he's fighting against Jamel Charlo, the junior middleweight undisputed champion that will move up two weight classes to fight the undisputed Canelo Alvarez. Man, this is a crazy year of boxing, guys. Now, let's see if old media treats Canelo the exact same way they treated Devin Haney going into the Lomachenko fight, mainly focusing on the size and attempting to give Lomachenko a built-in excuse just in case he lost, which he did. I want you guys to pay attention to what all the reporters say. All those reporters that were saying that Devin Haney was too big and Loma was too small, Make sure you pay attention to what they say in the buildup of this fight. When Devin Haney and Lomachenko were fighting, they were fighting in the same weight class. Jamal Charlo or Jamel Charlo, he will be moving up to a weight class he's never fought at, but he has to move up two weight classes. And with that being said, I still believe this will be Canelo Alvarez or one of Canelo's most difficult fights. Of course, he already has two L's on his record against Floyd Mayweather and Bivol, and arguably one against Gennady Golovkin and Lara. This fight just got bigger because it's undisputed versus undisputed. There's a lot of drama. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Obviously, we all know that Canelo, he chose this fight because it was the much smaller Charlo. I believe Canelo, he looks at Charlo the same way he looked at Floyd Mayweather when he fought Floyd. I truly believe that when Canelo went in there to fight Floyd, he said to himself, I don't care how talented this guy is. He's way too small. I'm going to walk through all that pretty stuff he does and probably stop him. I think this is the way Canelo felt with Floyd Mayweather and the way he's feeling right now about Jamel Charlo. And it's also the way he felt when he fought Miguel Cotto. Because when he fought Miguel Cotto, I've already showed you images of that fight. Canelo Alvarez looked at least 20 to 30 pounds bigger than uh, Miguel Cotto. And even Canelo admitted later on, he said, man, I couldn't even feel his punches. I was just walking straight through him. So Canelo is definitely going to underestimate Jamal Charlo, thinking that he's a much smaller guy. And who knows? I mean, we don't know how it will affect a fighter moving up two weight classes. We know when Kell Brook moved up two weight classes, you could clearly see that there was a massive disadvantage, size advantage. And that's what cost uh, Kell Brook the fight. There's no doubt about it, Jamel Charlo's jab is going to give Canelo Alvarez a lot of problems. And then he's also going to start landing the right hand. But will those punches be effective enough moving up two weight classes is the question. Now, Jamel wouldn't be the first fighter to move up two weight classes to win some belts. But he will become the first person to move up two weight classes and beat another undisputed champion. So the fight will be September 30th, only on PBC. Once again, man, PBC has completely, completely taken over the sport of boxing. Old media's biggest fear. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. I don't talk about this really much, even like to my brother. But, but like, for the fact that you really know what I'm going through. All right, bro. Fucking love you. Love you too, gang. Yep. I'm heartless. I yeah, but it happened to the best of them. I've been through it all. Enough. Yeah, shit, so, shit real. Two years off. You over here asking me about two years off. And I, I ain't had no. I'm yeah. heartless. I but 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 wait, but you don't think I want to go get? You don't think I want to go get all these belts? Sure. But I'm I'm okay with going through what I'm going through because my brother gonna go get it. Yeah. I went and I'm got cool him. with that. And I we from the same. Him. We from the same pride. Don't worry. He, I feel like I got him. I'm cool. I'm gonna get through this and I'm gonna go get him.
All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram.